Hi, how's it going? This excerpt by Giuseppe Verdi is all about phrasing. Sometimes the composer writes down crescendo or diminuendo. Other times we have to rely on our musical intelligence and we have to try to make some phrasings even if none is written. I like to call it implicit harmony. We may start, or we may be in E major at the beginning. Which note does not belong to the chord? The C sharp. Tension, release. We play, therefore, the C sharp with a bit more of bow and vibrato. Nobody will come out from the orchestra and say, the composer wrote no dynamics. Why are you playing a crescendo? This is just a way to make this music more interesting. Later on we play E major and we have an, again some sort of appoggiatura or tension on the A. There is no accompaniment, there is no harmony, but we can imagine something like this. Tension release. Later on, on the third phrase, we try to play towards the C flat. You can see the dynamics, that's the intention of the composer. The big question is how? My proposal use the lower half of the bow just for the C flat. <laughs> The short notes under the slur get frequently less attention. They need a bit more of bow, but less pressure. Otherwise, we get an accent on them. I am exaggerating, but you get the idea. I would save the frog, or lower part of the bow, for the climax. of spiccato, a bit of spiccato, a bit of spiccato, and more or less here we start to play on the string. For the last two notes, the intensity is in the vibrato. With intensity, with energy, but also with culture. The fancy German word is nicht rupfen. Rupfen is what you do when pulling off the feathers of a chicken. Something like this. We don't do it when playing a musical instrument. Because we can we hear at the end some some sort of buzzing or Bartok pizzicato. And it's not what we're looking for. I believe. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time with more music for double bass.